Good day. I want to take a few moments and introduce you to the Financial Analysis Simulation Data Detective. This is an excellent simulation designed to give you experience reviewing common sized financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, as well as statement of cash flows for a number of anonymous companies that you will then have to choose which companies match which sets of data. In addition to the common sized financial statements, you will also be provided with some very common financial ratios for each of these anonymous companies. And based upon what you will have researched regarding these companies, those financial ratios will be a key to helping you ac accurately decide which company is which within the data table. So as you've already gone through, um, there is a tutorial, which I encourage everyone to go ahead and go through that. It gives a very good explanation as to how the simulation works. But we're going to go ahead and just kind of test the simulation so we can see how it works. So we'll click on Begin Simulation. And then you'll be presented with what your objective is. Okay. So you are interviewing for a position at the Saulnier Group. All right, it's a financial consulting firm. And you're part of a process to get a position within the firm. Okay? And your job is to match data sets to anonymous companies. So you've got a couple of questions that you're probably going to be asking yourself. Well, why can't I just go to the web and find the actual data and match it up? Well, again, because we're presenting this in common sized form, there are no numbers. It's all percentages. And you can go and you can read um, the other um, drop downs here. What do I need to indicate my confidence? Right? Well, at the end of the simulation, after you have selected your companies from the drop down menus within the data table, right, you're going to be asked to give yourself a level of confidence around why you say chose column A as uh, Amazon. Okay. And you'll be able to give yourself a rating. I'm 90% confident. I'm 60% confident. And then you'll have a place where you should put notes as to why you made the selection that you did. Okay. So part of the process in the decision section of the tutorial revolves around giving the explanation. Okay. Why do you need to explain your reasoning? Well, because sometimes being correct isn't good enough. Right? Sometimes we can be correct just because we guessed properly. Right? So it's like we talked about in class. I care more about you understanding the data than simply being able to correctly guess the right company. Okay? So that's the challenge that you're going to be faced with. Once you move through the challenge section of the simulation, you'll be presented with the companies that you need to figure out um, which one is which within the data table. And what this page will allow you to do is it will give you a little company profile. So if you select American Express, for example, it'll give you a little profile around the company, what they do, how they operate, what their main business model is. Right? This is by no means all the research that you're probably going to have to do. You will probably have to hit the web, okay? either Yahoo Finance or Morningstar or a combination of the two to get more information around these companies that you're being asked to analyze. So your big chief tablet and a pencil is going to be your best friend as you go through this. And you'll get the company profiles for all of the companies that you're going to be presented. And there will be eight of them. So after you've re you reviewed the profiles, OK, we move to the Analyze page. And this is where the common sized financial statements are going to be located. Right? So this is what you're going to be presented with. You'll have balance sheet information, you'll have income, income statement information, and then you'll have those key financial ratios that will be presented for each of the three anonymous companies. Okay? Your job is to go through the data. Okay? Remember, income statement are listed as a percentage okay, of sales. Right, so everything is ratioed based upon revenue, which is why revenue for each of the three companies is 100%. And on the balance sheet side, we said everything was referenced based upon total assets. Okay, so as a percentage of total assets, what do each of the line items represent? Okay, 
and that's consistent for all three companies. Once you've had time to review the data and to look at the financial ratios, okay, you have these little drop downs, okay, where you get to determine, okay, what column represents the appropriate company in your opinion, okay. So, for example, we we might say that um, column A, okay, represents um, Southwest Airlines, okay. And we might say column B um, represents um, American Express, okay? And then column C would be CVS, okay? Now, I have no idea if this is correct or not, so we're just going to go through and show you what it looks like. So once you've selected the companies, all right, we can go back to now over to the decide section. Now, once you go to the decide section, you're not committing yourself to the selections that you've made. Okay, you're, you can go back and you can make adjustments here if you would like, or you can go back to the analyze tab and make adjustments and then come back here, right? But what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, what is your confidence level, all right? So for Southwest, I'm pretty highly confident. Why? Well, it had a, um, you know, debt to equity ratio in line with the airline industry, okay? I'm not sure if that's the case or not in this example, but you get my point here, okay? American Express, um, no COGS, all right? They're a financial company, so they had no COGS, all right? And then CVS something. But what I want you to do is rate your level of confidence for each of the decisions that you're going to be making and give me a rationale as to why you made that choice. OK, that'll give me some insight into how you are processing and thinking about the analysis that you went through. OK, and once you've done that, OK, once you have selected the companies, given yourself a confidence level and provided a rationale for your decision, then you simply hit the submit decisions button. OK, yes, I want to submit it. And then you will come out with the results. OK, and you will be given and you'll be provided with what your score is. OK, in this particular um, example, it didn't give us what the score was, but you'll be told what your score was once you hit that submit button. OK, and then that's it. Right? That is the simulation. Right. And we will go back and we will review the simulation prior or during class uh, next week. OK, so enjoy. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out. All right, I will be available to answer any questions that you might have. Good luck.